The Gospel According to Luke One day, as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law would come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem were sitting there. And the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence. But not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. And when Jesus saw their faith, he says, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this? Who speaks blasphemies? Who but God can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is it easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the one who is paralyzed, I say to you, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home, glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God, and, struck with awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. Gospel Reflections In those days, the reasons for sickness were not clear. Up until the late 1800s, the germ theory was not yet the predominant theory of how disease was passed from one person to the next. Even though Jewish law demanded ritual washing and specific dietary requirements with some things that required a person to be quarantined, this did not mean they knew the correct reasons why things were needed. In the days of our Lord, sickness by many kinds of illness were considered a divine retribution imposed on the sinners by God. Things like murder, theft, and slander were considered things that could cause disease. Even smaller things like false oath, pride, miserly behavior were among other things that could cause various diseases. So when Jesus said, Your sins are forgiven, this not only covered the person's actual sins, but the sins they thought would have caused the disease. This may have been for the Pharisees' benefit, to make the point that he had the ability to forgive sins. To be clear to the paralyzed person that they were cured, He told him to pick up his stretcher and go home. Are there things in your life that are paralyzing you from doing what you know God wants you to do? Please include victims of disaster, disease, and despair in your prayers. Subscribe by clicking on the round logo on this page or in the lower corner during the video. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.